place it's somewhere, but you punch a hole in it, and that allows the air to vent. What happens is this is like a bomb. This is totally like a bomb. And say you bust this open and you put it on top of a plate, or you know, and uh, you don't poke a hole in the top, it you know reach in, boom, it can blow up in your face. It is a, you know, there's some things that have to be handled. Uh, you know, well, you don't have to do that on a stove. Well, that's right. It's a microwave. It is a, uh, it's just a, uh, it just cars, people, you know, they said that cars are not dangerous to the people that drive them. No, cars are actually dangerous because you put people behind the wheel that you've never been driving. Is that like saying guns aren't dangerous? Okay, yeah, guns are not dangerous to the people that handle them. Gun, okay. Um, I never saw, okay, well here's the trick is, I'll give you a lesson on gun control. My father said the only reason to have a gun is to kill somebody with. Okay. And he said if you're not going to kill somebody with the gun, then don't own the gun. That's simple. So therefore, if you put the gun in the hands of somebody that doesn't want to use it, you know, you deserve the results of happening. So, but, uh, but the, um, okay, this is coffee. I use coffee and I use high decaffeinated stuff to irritate my stomach to keep me awake. But I, um, I eat too many, I eat too much candy, I eat too much French fries. I love, love warm French fries at McDonald's. You know, I love, I love, I love wiener schnitzels with kind of chili on them. I eat everything that is wrong for me. And um, our government would basically tell me, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because that's going to kill you. Um, I'm old. Uh, you know, what I allow... You get to a point. Something's going to kill you. Something's going to kill you. Okay, what, what I let... What, did I let my youngest ones eat all the time? I grew up in restaurants. Would I let mine eat in restaurants? No, we'd go out, we'd maybe go out to a fast food place once a week. Yeah, but see, part of it is, okay, too much water can kill you. Yeah. Too much milk can kill you. Walking across the street can kill you. Yeah. Right? Everything. Riding a bicycle can. Everything can kill you. Right? You know, uh, basically, upgrade, updating this computer while we're on the camera can kill you. You know, uh, Taking this thing out, taking, I know I shouldn't do this, because, but take it out, putting your tongue to it, that could kill you. Mm -hmm. It's called being stupid. Taking this and putting it into a plug-in in the wall can kill you. You know, um, uh, everything can kill you. It isn't, it's how you use the thing. If you use it, it you know, you play, okay. Um, they said, I also remember something my, my grandmother said. But if you play by the rules, it's not likely you're ever going to die from playing by the rules. Mm -hmm. You do. There are those that do because they, they broke the rules. They said, it is simply, you know, uh, and not in God's, you know, domain that you shall die if you play by the rules. And that's what it was. She was a doctor. She didn't get to practice medicine because they didn't like that in Ireland. But uh, still, if, if you abuse this thing, this computer that's in front of us, it will flat out kill you. If you have a green vehicle, that green vehicle's got warnings all over that green vehicle about what not to touch. Like, don't work on your car. Don't work on your car. Basically, I mean, it tells you, you touch this, you're going to fry your rear end. I mean, I was there when the Ford Escape first came out, and I'm talking to, uh, actually, one of the heads of the company. We're sitting here talking over at the Renaissance Hotel, and he showed me, he said, you know, I, I, he told me, I don't like these things because I can't work on it. He said, I like the fact that it does well, but I can't work on it, and I love to work on cars. And it's got warnings all over. You know, working on this car could lead to serious injury. Take it into people that basically know what they're doing. It's all over the stupid vehicles that working on a car can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the, this base, I just find it coincidental that this thing came out, you know, the evening before they announced that. Um, that millionaires and billionaires are getting are, are, have a far better diet than those other people, and we need to do something about that. Oh, spread the wealth. Yeah. <laughs> so that the people, what it means is, is that nobody eats well then. Well. Well, they changed. They changed the. Okay, they said Obama's health department's new nutritional system is so designed. My God, I mean, um, I, I would not. Doing this is over. We're doing lots of props today. This is a god awful big plate. 
would you pile half of this plate with pasta? No. Uh, would you pile half of this plate with with uh, with green stuff? You know, with the uh, broccoli, cauliflower stuff. No. No, but that and that. All, I mean, all of that's too much food. I no, mean, maybe there is, are some people that would. This is what they're talking about: is being healthy for you is overeating. Everything that can make you fat, they want you to eat. So, uh, it, it just so um, it is. You have to take some things in the news business with a grain of salt. Because I know, uh, in the business, I know the response they got when you kind of take people's pizzas away from it. All the press people have bought pizzas. Well, I was bought a pizza yesterday. Big, big, big pizza, big, 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 big thing. And uh, they've got a murder. We don't want you to stop. Okay, you know, selling French fries. We just don't want anybody to know that you carry French fries. So let's go out and buy French fries. Let's go out and buy French fries. Uh, we <laughs> don't want you to stop carrying. We don't want you to stop selling milkshakes. We just don't want it to be on your menu that you sell milkshakes. We want you to have a healthy menu, which is basically all vegetables. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the press does when they go into a press room and the lunch is nothing but vegetables? They tell people they're selling us rabbit food. Well, you know, part of it is, at media events, you don't know how much food you're going to get, and you don't know when you're going to get it, right? And as much as I like rabbit food, it does not stay with you as long. I know. Which means, another hour, I'm hungry again. I know. So, it just, uh, it's just like eat Chinese food. So, <laughs> no, but um, uh, I, it, it's just, <coughs> okay. I just installed a brand new operating, a new system stuff to my computer. Well, <coughs> I don't, uh, but uh, no, it just when a government has an agenda, they're always going to tell you that everything is evil, and then in the fine print down below, they'll tell you, well, that's not necessarily so. If you're an adult, here's why. The Obamas and Catherine Sebelius and other people working for Obama in the White House will say, the difference between me and you is I'm responsible and you're not. Mm -hmm. I can use a microwave responsibly. You can't. I can eat nutritionally from a microwave. You can't. I am a responsible adult. You're not. So well, and that's still why they're eating at fast food places. Yeah. So, and I stuffing know. there. No, we, we can, you know, they can basically eat enough fast foods to kill a full elephant, but I am a responsible adult, unlike those other people that are in here eating that, uh, you know, eating that one dollar burger and the small fries, and they have trip, they have double, you know, they have a, you know, a hamburger that's got like five layers on it with cheese, and the super french fries, and three or four malts. I'm more responsible than that person that sat there and had the smallest order of everything, because I can I can eat it or not eat it, which makes me more responsible. Ooh. I know how to deal with microwaves. You don't know how to deal with microwaves because I am responsible. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not responsible, so I, 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 I know. But see, part of it is he, he's, you're saying all this stuff and it sounds like a joke. But you know what? They are doing that. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. It is the... I mean, it just looks like we're doing satire of what's in the news. No, okay. it's in the news. We're just not... Okay, here is the... Uh... Oh, we're giving it to him casually. We're not giving it to him with a straight face. Okay, here is the... Um... We'll finish with the Mark Twain thing. We generally, we do like money bubbles with the news thing. But Mark Twain said the last thing that a person is likely to believe is the truth. So we give you sometimes the truth as if it was funny. So you've basically been told the truth, and it, it, you know oh, we'll put it this way: the Republicans don't like things either. So if you put a Republican in, they'll basically go after the wines and things and tell you, well, everybody would have a brain actually knows wine is actually good for you. It is. It is good for you. That's why they're selling all these pills so you can have wine for for better skin and hair and. Yeah. Longer life. But the Republicans have their issues with what you should be doing. The Democrats have their issues. And nobody really cares about the people. I mean, I mean, I, I know... I, They're I, running on issues, remember? I, I know guys that flat out will condemn McDonald's. And they'll go into McDonald's once a week and eat. You know, they'll sit there and stuff. Well, I didn't have time to go to a dinner. 
like I would normally. Well, that's why people go to fast food places. Yeah, because they don't have the time. It's just um, if uh, my mother worked, like my mother worked for a restaurant chain that basically had two tiers of food. They had the fast stuff, and then they had the set down stuff. And my mother, the, the statistics said that the people would rather do the set down meals than but, the fast stuff. But they don't have enough time. They don't have enough time because they would rather sit there and have a full-blown dinner. And it doesn't have to do well. It's not, it can't do a darn about sitting with their family. They could have done that at home. But they'd have rather sat down at the restaurant, had the full dinner. But if it's going to take you 45 minutes to an hour to get the dinner made, and you have to be somewhere else, you go do it. I mean, we, we, we went, um, actually, we get an example of this. We went to the spaghetti factory, which we actually loved the night we went over there. I mean, that was basically sitting there for a long time as the stuff was coming out. Well, you don't always have an hour, hour and a half, two hours to eat dinner. But we did it because actually, we, uh, I think that was the night we went to see the King Tut exhibit too. So, yeah. and we went over and had the big. We, we did King Tut really good. So, but we went to a set down Italian restaurant, you know, to celebrate King Tut. But that took a lot of. You know, you're sitting there. They bring out you this. They bring out you that. They bring this out. So, I mean, that's how it works. I mean, I like fit down. I don't like fast food restaurants. I grew up in them. I'd rather cook my own food, but, uh, you know, but modern, modern uh, apartments aren't really designed for full kitchens anymore. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, you know, we've been, we've been a little bit facetious, having a little fun with the facts. That, and nowhere in it did it say millionaires and billionaires. Oh, yeah, you added that part. Well, we told them that, though. But it did say millionaires and billionaires in this one that came out this morning, though. Are you serious? Yeah. Millionaires and billionaires and hedge fund managers are more likely to have a healthy diet than those people that aren't millionaires and billionaires and hedge fund managers. You'll find that a person that flies in a corporate jet or, a, or an oil executive is more likely to eat healthy than the average person on the street. Because no, millionaires and billionaires and hedge fund managers and people that are getting uh, getting uh, tax breaks that they shouldn't are able to eat better because you're, you are giving them your money so that they can eat better. That did come out this morning. That's yeah. not being decision. That came out this morning almost word from word. So. Ooh, that, yeah, the people on the rubber chicken circuit eat better too, right? Yeah, nobody wants to do rubber chicken circuit. We go to some of those things. Actually, we've been to some of these events the same food every single day. So uh, we, 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 we did go to, we did, we used to go to trade shows where they brought out the, the same exact food every day of the trade show. So actually they still do, but they bring them out in sandwiches. Now you can pick this sandwich or that sandwich, but I guess until next time, this is all okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net, and uh, we, have, we have an RSS feed there now, too. So. Yes, and wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us because we've got some big changes that are coming. We have a new service page now that basically gives yes. you the headlines of what's going on out there in the entertainment and technology business and art. So. Mm -hmm. so, thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. Oh, yeah, and subscribe to us because we've got a lot more stuff coming down the pipe. Yes. Such as the Monty Bubba Network, any data.